Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him, or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... Son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Wake up! Wake up, 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 wake up.
Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. This way, please. your life to save us, Kara. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. That's fine. Go ahead. Next, please. Rose. Next, please. Think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. Checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Rose. Marcus. He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. You're leaving Detroit? 
They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Next, please. ID? Is she all right? be scared anymore, little girl. There are no androids on this side of the border. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> 